reading inspired me. Uh, reading was my salvation as a young person, and I wanted to be a writer long before I had any idea what it meant to be a scientist. Um, life took its course, and it was decades um, before I could engage or before I did engage in writing for the public. I think a um, major reason for that is it took that long for me to believe that I actually had something to say. Um, I write for the public for two reasons. Uh, the first is this deep desire to communicate um, the awe that I feel for molecular machines and how they work and how cells work and how life works. And to do that in a way that people can appreciate without spending 30 years studying biochemistry and molecular biology and cells. So um, that's an exciting challenge for me and it's really rewarding when people um, start to feel that awe. The second reason I think is equally, if not more important, and that is that um, a scientific worldview is really critical for our society right now, that we have a, a broader base of, of people with a deeper, um, deeper held and, and deeper appreciation for, um, for, for a scientific worldview. And so um, I, I, I really enjoy uh, the problem solving of how to communicate that in a way that really shows the awe and the joy and the mystery and all of those things that um, they're just hollow if you just say them. You really have to show the science in a way that really expresses how, as a scientist, you feel that way about the world. And um, so those are the the two reasons, uh, the two primary reasons that I like to write for a public audience.